was good. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group, excuse me, excuse me, I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another day. No, George Washington was a slave owner. Was George Washington a slave owner? So will George Washington now lose his status? Are we going to take down... Excuse me. Are we going to take down? Are we going to take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You like him? Okay, good. Are we going to take down the statue? Because he was a major slave owner. Now we're going to take down his statue. So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history. You're changing culture. I want you to this clarify for our viewers uh, briefly the distinction to be made between slave-owning presidents and founding fathers and uh, slave owners who fought to keep the, that peculiar institution right. intact. Right. So uh, when you are in rebellion against the founding ideals of the country, um, that is vastly different than being a creator of those founding ideals, as imperfect as Washington was, as imperfect as Jefferson was. To focus on uh, similarities, again, much further down the list is to misunderstand the prioritization of the moral uh, elements that are at the top of the list. In the press conference and multiple times on Twitter, President Trump has drawn comparisons between Confederate General Robert E. Lee and President George Washington. So here to defend himself is President George Washington. In the end, Michael. We don't need statues to commemorate us. Overnight, a group of people tore down the George Washington statue in Northeast Portland. This was near Northeast 57th and Sandy Boulevard about 11 last night. A Fox 12 viewer sent us this video of the statue of the nation's third president as it was pulled down. While Thomas Jefferson wrote, all men are created equal, he also owned as many as 600 slaves. A historic Virginia church, as we told you yesterday, where George Washington frequently worshipped, will remove a memorial plaque honoring America's first president. Where he spent 20 years of his life. The church will also take down a memorial honoring Robert E. Lee, but where does this political correctness stop? We're going to have to make sacrifices. We're going to have to change our traditions, our history. Judging by the pure insanity that we're witnessing over the Betsy Ross flag being on a Nike shoe, I'd say it won't be long before they're calling the American flag a symbol of hate and racism that must be destroyed. Don't let your guard down because these folks are on a mission to demonize this country, its founding, and ultimately demoralize us all from even putting up a fight.